Hi everybody, welcome back to the TechSuper channel. Today in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to update Oracle integration instance using OIC. So if you have a requirement to update your Oracle integration instance via some automated script or using OIC itself, how we can do this. So in this short video, I'm going to show you the same. So guys, before we proceed, please subscribe to my channel to get regular updates of my YouTube channel. One more useful information here, if you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder, one of the OCI services, which is used to build a web and mobile application. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder, this is a great book, which is written by me. And the publisher is back. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder in a deep, deeper way, you can buy this book. And to buy this book, you can go to this link https colon slash slash back dot live slash 3mw snr7 which will take you to the amazon website from where you can buy this book okay now let's move forward one of the common asks is how to update oracle instance automatically and one of the frequent requirement is to scale out and in the instance which means is to just increase or decrease the number of message back without intervention. Oracle integration gives you a flexibility to increase or decrease the message packs via the OCI control, but that is a manual activity. Every time you need to increase or decrease the message pack, you have to log in into the OCI console and then do this activity. But if you want to automate such tasks, how you can do this? So in this video, I'm going to show you the same. Not only increasing and decreasing the message pack, but if you want to perform any other action on the integration instance, you can do the same also by the same method, which I'm going to explain here. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase and decrease the message pack via OIC. So to do this task, OCI offers, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure offers the REST API, which can be used to update Oracle integration instance. So there's a one dedicated REST API to update Oracle integration instance and which we are going to leverage in the OIC itself. So OCI REST API to update the Oracle integration instance. So if you want to use REST API, this is the base URL of the OCI REST API, which starts from HTTPS colon slash slash integration dot reason is the configurable value here. Reason is like we, we have a different, different reason like Hyderabad, Mumbai, Phoenix, Singapore, and others. So whatever reasons integration instance you want to update, you have to keep that value here. Like if you are in the Hyderabad, there is a mystery called Hyderabad. If there's a Mumbai, if your instance is in Mumbai, then you have to keep it Mumbai, something like this. I will show you. Okay. This is the base endpoint which you have to give in your REST adapter. Then there is a particular endpoint, the put endpoint, which starts from slash 20190131 slash integration instances less. And here you have to give the integration instance ID. Okay, which you can get from the integration console also. If you want to look at the complete documentation of this REST API, you can go to this link. What are the prerequisites to complete this video? First, you must have the tenancy OSID. You must have the user OSID. You must have the user fingerprint and you must have the user private key file in the PAM format. If you don't know how to fetch that, I have created one more video similar to this. You can refer to this video, which will help you to get this tenancy OSIT, user OSIT, user fingerprint, user private key file in the PAM format. I'm not going to describe each and everything here, but I'm going to show you how to use that endpoint to update the instance. So I'm taking you to this screen here. Okay, now, first of all, let me just help you with the documentation. 
or Excel integration API documentation. Okay, OCI documentation and the link I have given in the presentation. So here you see I was talking about this API endpoint like HTTPS integration dot AP like Hyderabad. If your instance is in the Hyderabad region, you have to use this Hyderabad one. Okay, like dot AP hyphen Hyderabad one or TCB or Cloud.com. If it is in the Melbourne, you have to use this one. Okay, this is the company. REST API URL, base URL. Integration instance. Okay, so here we have a different different REST API. We are interested in the updating the integration instance. But similarly, you can use the stop integration instance API to stop the instance and you can use the start API as well. Okay, I'm going to use this update integration instance. Okay, put slash 20190131 integration instances and then integration instance ID. Okay, you have to put your integration instance ID and there you can give multiple uh, multiple values in the put uh, JSON body like message pack, like you can update the license type, right? You can change other stuff as well. So if I show something here to you, maybe, yeah. So you can put like custom endpoints as one of the key in the JSON body, you can define tag, this name you can change, you can free from text, indication instance type, whether you want to put a standard or enterprise, and then is BYOL, whether it's a no or yes, will be a kind of Boolean. And the one thing is message packs. Okay, so I'm going to show you the same how to update message pack from the Oracle integration. Okay, so this is one of my instance, YC dev01, and here you see I have the message pack one. So if you want to update this message pack, you have to click on this edit button and from here you can change your message pack. But if you want to automate this task, how you will do this? So that's what I'm going to show you now. So I am on the OIC. Okay, so I'm going to update the same OIC board, right? So first you have to create a REST API connection. So I have already created one REST API connection here. Um, with the app of REST adapter, wherein I have configured uh, this REST API base URL, which is kind of integration app Hyderabad one, because my integration instance is in the Hyderabad region. Okay, and then I have to I have selected the security policy as the OCI signature version one. You can use the tenancy ID that is my user OSIP, and then you have to upload the private key file and then fingerprint. Okay, so these are the mandatory things which you must have before you use it. Okay. Now go back and come to the integration. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a REST based integration, which will call that connection, which will call this API and then will update. Let me just create our REST based integration here. Update integration instance. Okay. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an integration. And here, I'm going to choose the REST adapter. Okay, okay, instance. Okay, and here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put update, and then I will put here, and then okay, configure the request payload for this endpoint, and then JSON in line. I can put like the message packs. Okay. It's a sample and the next and the finish. Right, this is my adapter. And now I'm going to use this adapter OIC REST API, which I have created by this endpoint. Okay, and now I need to call OIC instance update. Okay, and then I need to put this one, let me just take it out. Okay, this endpoint, like this is the one integration instance, and this is the OSIB of my integration instance, which you can copy from here. So, this is the OSIB which you need to paste. Okay, and this is kind of put request. And here I will configure a request payload. And JSON and then in line here, whatever I want to update, I will simply take this message back. Okay.
and then okay next and then now just added this what i am going to do i am going to map the value whatever i will pass okay message back to message back simply validate and then close and now you can enable the tracking parameter message back then save save and then close it now you can activate this integration and then we will test it Right, action in progress, and let's test it. Now, let me just change the message back to two. As of now, I have I'm on the message back one. Okay, let me just simply go ahead and test it. Okay, and now if you will see, it is an active. If I refresh it, it will come in the updating history. Active. Okay, it has been updated, and here you see. The message pack has been changed from one to two. Now you can decrease it one. Test. Okay, done. They refresh it. It has been again active, and now this time the message pack is one. So this is how you can update any property of this voice instance via this API. If you want to change the <clears throat> change the license type you can use this is byol if you want to keep it byol then you can keep it yes otherwise you can keep it no you can change the integration instance type wherein you can pass the value standard or enterprise and other stuff so this is the way to update the instance so guys that's all about this video if you liked it please like comment and share that video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching have a good day bye bye